Hi, and welcome to this video. Um, I'm Roger Zimish. Thanks for tuning in and picking this thing up. I really appreciate it. Uh, what I'm going to show you uh, in the next, you know, 20 minutes or so, um, some of my guitars. We're going to go over different tuning techniques. We're going to go over uh, warm-up exercises that I do. We're going to go over um, some different chordal structures. Uh, I'm going to focus on two um, scale patterns, a major and a minor, the Ionian and the Aeolian, and combining them together. Um, some little licks and tricks uh, without all the mistakes that I just made. <laughs> and um, Then go over versatility uh, as far as your playing, uh, different instruments to use, um, expanding your talents, um, whatever you're called to do in a certain situation of a song, uh, in a band, in a praise service, whatever it may be, wherever they might have you or place you at that moment in time, you'll be able to just jump right in because you'll be versatile, you'll be blessed, and we're going to have a great time. Guitars. It's a passion that I have. Um, there are many different guitars that I use. For instance, over here I have um, a PV Telecaster has active pickups in it. They have a real nice hot sound out of that one. Uh, the Ibanez here I've had the longest. I do a lot of Evo work with this one, uh, kind of the humbuckers, in the neck position. Um, I have a Godin, the newest one in my collection. An Epiphone Chad Atkins, real nice acoustic electric sounding on that one. This one in the back, it basically flies a friend of mine's Warren's. It's a seven string. Uh, the thing with the seven string, it gives you a low B. Um, I'll be playing that a little later on, so you can hear what that sounds like. Various acoustic guitars. Being a guitarist, if you don't have, I mean, probably with all the money I spent on these guitars here, I could go out and get the, the V system, the virtual reality system, um, to imitate all these things. But there's nothing like having a real thing. Now, if you're a beginner guitar player, this is the ideal package, actually, to first start out. This is my daughter Laura's guitar. It's a Dan Electro. Single pickup. You know, it's, it's great for beginners, parents, if you're watching this, if you're thinking, well, what can I get my, my kid an electric guitar after an acoustic guitar? This is pretty good. comes with this nifty little amp that you can pick up with it. set up for about you know, cheap 200 bucks great starter piece for you guys that are just getting started and gals now if you're out shopping for a new guitar or your first guitar some of the main things you want to look at is the neck the playability of the guitar you don't want to have a guitar where the strings or the action is like so high that, that you're not going to be able to play the guitar because then you're going to get frustrated because you have to press down so hard um, electric guitars and acoustic guitars Feel different. Playability. Now, the Danos are, are a cheap instrument. You want to make sure that your neck is straight, not actually totally straight, but you want to have a little bit of a bow to it and playability so you're not pressing down so hard on the strings because that gets frustrating to a beginner or even to someone like me. I've been playing for 15, 20 years. I pick up a guitar with super high action and i got to put it down. You don't get inspired to play. Um, different pickups that come on guitars, electric guitars, as I was saying earlier. If you buy a, a, a cheaper guitar that has a great neck, but some of, sometimes the pickups aren't wound too tight, and you'll get a lot of feedback from that. And that's something you don't, you don't want to get into, because if you're playing an electric guitar at a high volume, it's going to just squeal, and it's going to hurt your ears, and everybody's going to go, ah. you don't want that. Acoustic guitars, I would suggest a solid top, not a ply top. One of the ways you can tell that you have a solid top is by looking in the hole here, the sound hole, you'll see that it's one piece of wood, not layers of wood. Tonality wise, it's much deeper, better sounding instrument, um, it won't crack. You do have to be careful with them, but I would start off with a solid top acoustic guitar. But remember, you don't want to get a guitar that has super high action because then it's going to be harder to play and you're going to get real discouraged. And then it's going to take the fun out of it. Show me how you look down the neck. Okay. 
If you want to check the neck out, you can check it looking down this way. And you can see if there's a bow that's happening or a twist. You want to stay away from guitars that have bow necks or a twist. If it has a twist, forget about it. It's cost a lot of money to get it repaired and a lot of hassle and you get frustrated real easy with it. Amplification. If you're playing electric guitar or acoustic guitar nowadays, you're going to need some type of amplification. The little honey tone I, I played a couple minutes ago, uh, it's a great sounding little practice amp. You can plug headphones into it, so you can be in private in the bedroom, uh, in apartments. They're awesome little amps. Uh, Fender makes little battery operated amps. Pig nose, you know, the, the list goes on and on and on. Um, for other amps, I prefer combo amps. This is a PV combo. Um, 212s. 50 watts, that's all I really need. Uh, it comes channel switching, master volume, presence control, treble, mid-range, bass. Beautiful amp. You can pick these up. They're not making these anymore, but if you shop around, you can get a real good deal on them. And they're just as good as the Fenders. Also, down here I have a PV, another PV amp, Studio Pro 112. I use this for smaller gigs. I'll, uh, hook my drum machine up to it, my acoustic guitar up to it, I can run keyboards through it. But as far as with amps, it's going to be your own preference too. You know, some guys like Marshall's The Big Sound, Roland Jazz Courses are really nice to get that stereo effect. Uh, there's a lot of amps out now, Line 6. Use your ears, the best sounding amp you'll be able to tell from your ears.